good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Especially um, to my mom who takes large chunks of my burdens and responsibilities and makes my life easier. Um, I just want to encourage everybody, not only just moms, but anybody who's going through a rough time or feeling empty or not enough or too much. Um, and those who are like me and constantly battling with festering, persistent thoughts that are no good. Um, so if you know me already, you know that I have a lot of struggles. And if you don't, I wrote a list so I can share them with you. Um, but I kept it down to the majors because if not, we'll be here till next Sunday probably. Um, so I, inside, constantly struggle with anger and fear. Um, uh, but on the outside, and I just noticed, um, my son got into a car accident, and it was actually one year ago today. He collided with the bus, and they didn't um, expect him to live. He crossed over two lanes and went right under. Uh, he broke his back, broke his ribs, he was covered in scars. And that actually happened a year tomorrow. Um, but he's good. He gets to take out the trash. <laughs> and he is expecting. So that's coming in September. Uh, and then um, the same day, my, also my favorite uncle passed away. Um, then... In July, uh, my best friend, who is more like a sister to me, she passed away from cancer. It was a long and beautiful fight, and she was strong, and it was a treat to watch somebody be so graceful and beautiful while fighting for their life. Uh, three days later, I got an email that where I kept my savings went bankrupt and I had nothing. In September, we took my daughter to the hospital and found out in October she has a one in a million rare disease. Um, I brought a news clip so you can kind of get the whole story. Sean, thank you. For one Connie Olhead family, their New Year's, New Year's resolution is simple to come home from the hospital. That's where seven-year-old Reason Davis has spent most of her days since September battling the effects of severe aplastic anemia. Her family's hoping that folks are still in the giving mood of the holiday season, which won't cost them a dime. Doctors gave the diagnosis after Reason's teacher noticed a lot of bruising. Since then, the family spent most of their time at Kapiolani Medical Center. She requires one um, transfusion of blood a week and about two um, units of platelets a week. That's not it. With her white blood cell count low, Reason has had to fight off numerous infections with a weakened immune system, making life dangerous as cold viruses, the flu, and COVID continue to circulate. She probably had about 12 different diagnoses when we first first came here. Um, the awesome doctors and nurses here at Kapiolani have already um, cured the hepatitis. And um, now we're just trying to uh, fight off all the rest of the infection she has. And then hopefully um, she'll be able to do a bone marrow transplant. They've already tried matching reason with her brother to no avail. It's a difficult puzzle to solve for many in the islands who need a donor. With our amount of mixed genealogy, it's better to get more donors in the system to find a match. It will take a while because I'm very mixed um, ethnicities. Her father is very mixed ethnicities. Very hard to find, um, you know, the mixed plates that we are in Hawaii. Um, just the right combination of um, bone marrow. So if everybody, you never know who you could help. You never know who you could save or where they are in their life that they might really, really need it. If you're not in the recommended 18 to 35 age group, there are still other ways you can help. If you're over 40 and able to, to give blood and platelets, we would really, really appreciate that because she needs it to live. A donation could help Reason get home for good. 
Register bone marrow to the kids' hospital, please. Now, we spoke with Reason as she was getting a transfusion, but she is doing better this week, even getting some Dippin' Dots as a treat. You can see the smile there. Now, for a link to donate both bone marrow and blood, you can head over to our website. That is KH12.com. So I'm taking care of them with only the help of um, my elderly mom, who I'm super grateful for, um, because my husband um, is going through a drug addiction problem. So um, yeah, it's been a little bit rough, but God, but God. Um, my saving grace has been Auntie Dez, who sent me a link to 5 a.m. Fourth Watch, and that's where we pray. We pray about all this and my, my long list until next Sunday. We pray about each other's ups and downs. We, we share our life experiences so that I don't have to run completely through that muck. I can learn from what they've already been through and just move on from there. Uh, we give praise and we share all the good stuff going on and we give thanks and... They're amazing mentors, and we meditate on the Word, and we reflect what God is revealing to us. And um, that's how we start our day. We start our day strong and solid. Um, God has given me a lot of dreams and visions, especially during the hospital times, so that I could get through it and not just fall to pieces. And, and that's, that's why I'm not on a bunch of medications right now. That's not why I'm not running into traffic. That's why I'm not a, a major wreck is fourth watch uh we're just always supporting each other and sewing into each other's ministries and helping each other plow so now now god he just is showing up everywhere in everything the so reason is back singing and dancing she's playful she's doing her some crazy antics yesterday i caught her cutting a hole in her medicine ball. <sighs> um, but her kidneys are not in a failure path anymore. Um, they've cured a lot of different things with her. Um, and uh, she knows God. She knows God. You can ask her, Reason, how do you know there's a God? She's like, because. And I'm like, why because? She's like, because he's healing me. I'm like, but why did he even give you this? And she said, because I'm strong enough. I can handle it. I'm the one in a million, you know? Yeah. Yep. My husband, um, he's at Hinamalka, the drug rehab. He's recovering. And thank God, Kaleo got to minister to him. She didn't even know who he was. And she showed up and started speaking to him and... And he was telling me about her, and I was telling him about her, and it's the same her. So God is good. And, um, yeah, justice is better. He's about to be a dad. Pray for him. Like a lot. Pray for him. Nah. And, um, um, and I, I'm, I'm able to do these speaking, speaking engagements to bring awareness to the people that need blood, the people that need platelets. The people that need plasma, the people that need bone marrow. Um, because you don't know what you don't know. And if I didn't know how bad the need was when during Christmas, no platelets came. And I got scared. She turned all bruisey. She was super weak. I didn't le let her leave the bed. And none came for a while. And I was like super super afraid what's going to happen to her um they finally got some from the mainland so thank god that's never happened since so thank you jesus it's always been stored but just to be able to talk to the other families who are who, they don't know god um pray for them invite them to church uh 
just let them know that there's a there's hope there's hope for their kids um, and just share resources and whatever else God puts on me to help this these families that I wouldn't have even known about in the far corner of the hospital um, so yeah not every day is awesome but it's moving in the right direction and and there's peace so um, I just want to wrap it up by just saying I'm nobody I'm nothing I'm just a welfare mom that um, God is using for such a time as this to to just reach people and um, I'm not doing nothing that none of you wouldn't do to try to keep their kids alive, following the doctor's orders, praying, you know, just trying to do whatever it is to keep them happy and pushing. And um, the only difference between me now and me before is the time I spend, like, listening to God, reading his word, chasing after him, thanking him, repenting for my doo-doo thoughts and my titter mouth especially when I'm driving, um, and uh, just keeping in company of like-minded people. And when I need shaking, God shakes me, sends me out there to, like, tell me, you got this, fears of the enemy. So I just want to thank everybody and um, leave you with some more of reason. You start recording. The Lord is my stepper. He gives me everything I need. Nothing around in green grass. He leads me beside water water. He gives me new strength. He guides me on the right path and beyond everything. Even when I'm dark, walking through dark valleys, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You suffer broad. Staff, comfort me. You shall speak for me right before my enemies. You pour oil cup on my head. My cup runs over. Goodness. Goodness. Your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever.